Uncover the mysteries of the CIA's most secretive unit, the Special Activities Center, SAC, in this eye-opening video. Discover the covert operations, espionage missions, and classified projects that make SAC the elite force it is. From top secret intelligence gathering to high-risk paramilitary operations, delve into the world of the CIA's hidden warriors. Join us as we take you inside the CIA's secret unit, Special Activities Center, and explore the shadowy realm of espionage and black ops. Don't miss this exclusive look into the covert world of the Special Activities Center. The CIA's secret groups, the Special Activities Center, SAC. The United States Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, has various secret groups, one of the most interesting and least mentioned being the SAC, pronounced SAC, a select group tasked with carrying out some of the world's most secretive, demanding, and dangerous missions to protect U.S. interests. Many of their operations are known as black operations due to their secrecy and lethality. While some of their missions have inspired movies and video games, the reality of their operations is much more raw and impactful. The SAC, formerly known as the Special Activities Division SAD until 2016, is comprised of a few hundred individuals, in contrast to the more than 21-50 employees of the CIA, most of whom are not involved in combat or covert operations. Their primary mission is to complete black operations, unlike other special forces such as SEAL Team 6 and Delta Force, which execute classified missions. The SAC often plans them. Their motto, Tertia Optio, third option, reflects their role as the third option in national security when diplomacy and military action are not feasible. The SAC can be directly tasked by the President or the National Security Council to carry out direct action missions such as raids, sabotage, targeted assassinations, and unconventional warfare often outside international law. The United States Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, has various secret groups, one of the most interesting and least mentioned being the SAC, pronounced SAC, a select group tasked with carrying out some of the world's most secretive, demanding, and dangerous missions to protect U.S. interests. Many of their operations are known as black operations due to their secrecy and lethality. While some of their missions have inspired movies and video games, the reality of their operations is much more raw and impactful. The SAC, formerly known as the Special Activities Division, SAD, until 2016, is comprised of a few hundred individuals. In contrast to the more than 21-500 employees of the CIA, most of whom are not involved in combat or covert operations. Their primary mission is to complete black operations, unlike other special forces such as SEAL Team 6 and Delta Force, which execute classified missions. The SAC often plans them. Their motto, Tertia Optio, third option reflects their role as the third option in national security when diplomacy and military action are not feasible. The SAC can be directly tasked by the President or the National Security Council to carry out direct action missions such as raids, sabotage, targeted assassinations, and unconventional warfare, often outside international law. In 2019, Annie Jacobson, in her book Surprise Kill Vanish, the secret history of CIA paramilitary armies, operators, and assassins refers to the SAC as a highly classified branch and the world's most effective black operations force, asserting that all U.S. presidents since World War II have asked the CIA to conduct sabotage, subversion, and assassinations. Main Groups Within the SAC The SAC consists of two main groups. 1. Special Operations Group SOG Responsible for clandestine or covert operations with which the U.S. government does not want to be openly associated. Members of this unit, known as paramilitary operations officers and specialized skills officers, do not typically wear uniforms or carry identifications like regular soldiers. With fewer than 100 members, the SOG is considered the most secretive special operations force within the U.S., recruiting personnel from special operations units with extensive experience. 2. Political Action Group, PIAG, responsible for covert activities related to political influence, psychological operations, economic warfare, and cyber warfare. SAC tactical units can also carry out covert political actions in hostile environments. These operations are used to support U.S. foreign policy when open support for an insurgency element might be counterproductive. Covert aid allows the U.S. to assist without damaging the recipient's reputations. Political decisions are often influenced by agents working to ensure official decisions favor U.S. foreign policy. Some examples of political action programs in which the PAG was involved include Italy, 1948-1960, Preventing the Italian Communist Party from winning elections. Iran, 1953. Overthrowing the government. Guatemala, 1954. Overthrowing the government. Indonesia, 1957. Arming rebels. Poland, 1981. Providing funds and support to the Solidarity Trade Union Federation after martial law was imposed. SAC subdivisions. 
The SAC, formerly SAD, has two main branches. SOG and PAG further subdivided into five sections. 1. Ground Branch, responsible for covert operations on land, specializing in surveillance, small arms, hostage rescue, and advanced driving. Members are often recruited from special operations units like Delta Force. 2. Maritime Branch focuses on amphibious operations, recruiting former Navy and Marine reconnaissance members. They are experts in boats, diving, and advanced maritime knowledge. 3. Air Branch handles aviation activities from light aircraft to large transport planes. Their functions include covert insertion and extraction of personnel and transportation of sensitive cargo. 4. Armored and Special Programs Division, responsible for the development, testing, and acquisition of body armor for personnel and vehicles, as well as maintaining arsenals of ammunition and weapon systems. 5. Special Programs, includes all other specialized and secret activities, providing plausible deniability to operatives and their foreign trainees. Information and Candidate Selection. Candidates for the SAC come from U.S. military special operations units like Delta Force and SEAL Team 6, as well as other elite military units in the CIA's own rank. Paramilitary operations officers and specialized skills officers must have developed skills, field experience, and typically advanced degrees. Their training includes combat techniques, weapons handling, parachuting, diving, cyber operations, and more at training centers across the U.S. Operations conducted by SAC officers. Some operations carried out by a single SAC officer include direct actions, raids and sabotage behind enemy lines, counterterrorism, hostage rescue missions and guerrilla warfare, counterintelligence and espionage, capturing information through human assets. Types of paramilitary operations officers. 1. Blue Panthers. Actual CIA employees who have gone through the standard hiring process. 2. Green Bay Packers. CIA contractors often retired from units like Delta Force and SEALs. Known SAC missions, although many SAC operations are highly covert, some missions have been leaked. Somalia and Iraq, clandestine evacuation of US citizens and diplomatic personnel during the Gulf War. Cold War and post-war, covert operations in North Korea, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Lebanon, Iran, Syria, Libya, Iraq, El Salvador, Guatemala, Colombia, Mexico, Nicaragua, Honduras, Chile, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Somalia, Kosovo, Afghanistan and Pakistan. Pre-invasion of Iraq 2003, defeat of an extremist group in Iraqi Kurdistan and organization of Kurdish Peshmerga forces, post 9-11, the first to deploy to Afghanistan, collaborating with the Northern Alliance to overthrow the Taliban regime. Capture of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed in 2003 in Rawalpindi, Pakistan, one of the architects of the 9-11 attacks. Death of Osama bin Laden, 2011, operation in Abbottabad, Pakistan, carried out by a special operations team under direct orders from President Obama. Operation Kayla Mueller, 2019, raid in Syria that resulted in the death of Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. During the President Trump administration, the SAC began deploying small units of paramilitary officers around the world to locate prominent terrorist leaders. Among the few members of the SAC, only a few names have been obtained, but here are some of them. On October 25, 2003, the paramilitary officers, notable SAC officers, some SAC officers who have been recognized. Christopher Miller Williams and Harrison lost their lives in an operation in Afghanistan in 2003. Rai Friedman, first casualty of the conflict in Somalia in 1992. Tyson Ty Sindik died in 2012 in Jalalabad, Afghanistan, while attempting to save a fallen soldier. The CIA Memorial Wall, located at CIA headquarters in Langley, Virginia, it honors employees who lost their lives in service. Most were SAC officers. Beneath the 137 stars carved into the marble wall, the Book of Honor holds the names of 91 fallen employees. The other names remain secret. Publications and media representations. Books and movies inspired by the feats of SAC officers include books, Feet to the Fire and Turning at the Moon, the story of America's clandestine war in Laos. Movies, Jason Bourne, Zero Dark Thirty, The Hunt for Red October, The Good Shepherd. The SAC is the most covert unit of US special operations with missions that have shaped the world. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. Have a great day!